So today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your DDR pads here to work with pretty much any PC or computer, whether it's Windows or Linux. And all you need is a little board like this. They go by various names. This one's a Ghetto, all different things. I'll link them in the description below. Uh, basically, what you want to do is take uh, these harnesses here on a DDR pad here. There's a board. Uh, this is the board number and uh, each one of these goes to each arrow right there look and there's the uh, power which we don't need at all so what we're going to do is unplug each arrow from this main board you can see they're numbered there CN2, CN3, 4 and 5 and 6 is always blank um, and then we're going to pop one of those on each one of these headers right here it doesn't really matter which order because we can map them on the computer so I wouldn't really you know concern yourself about that but if you ever want to go back to this board again in the future then I recommend marking them then you know you can put them on the right one otherwise if you boot up DDR like extreme or Euromix or whatever you might have your up arrow triggering the left so it's just to remember the ordering for going back on the bottom of these uh, this is a nice little bit of plastic if you don't have that I recommend it because you can accidentally short things out because uh, a lot of people have them loose in here you can mount it here it's really up to you but that's why that tape is there uh, and they're just powered by micro USB right here look right on the end so that's all you need so you need to dump each arrow on one of these headers here just like this you can see there and then have a micro USB which ultimately goes to your computer. You can use various USB extenders to, to get there. Make sure you don't have any old USB 1.1 ones. Um, you know, you, you don't want to unnecessarily slow anything down. Um, with the other pad, because there's an outlet on player 1 right here, we don't have this outlet on uh, player 2. So if you have a 2 pad setup, what I recommend doing is plugging in your micro USB here so this one right here and then having the connection here somewhere around the middle so either either here or just here and then have this uh, female socket right here as well so when you split the pads in the future you don't have to unplug the card and get off this lid or anything like that so uh, that's quite useful so when you separate the pads you can just disconnect this at the split right here and we can leave our cards installed so it's going to be a lot easier because otherwise you're going to have uh, all these panels here you're going to have to take them off each time it's a little bit annoying and by the way if you didn't recognize that already um, both of these cards are in the center of a, a double pad setup so these are the sockets you need to remove to access them so it's pretty simple right uh, pretty pretty much plug and play Okay, so we're pretty much good to go. We've got all these labeled up there. That's chilling out there. Because these are like 100 kilos each, I'm not really worried about them, uh, you know, moving too much. Uh, there's our micro USB, and we've got it connected up right here, right where they disconnect here. I'm just going to put a little tape on the join here, just so it doesn't short anything, and number two, so it stays in. So, uh, two reasons there. And then both the wires, that one and this one, are going to come out there, and then we have a player one and player two. I don't remember if I mentioned before, but this is not gonna work with official DDR. It's pretty much just for PC use only, uh, somewhere where you can map the arrows just like a joystick, for example. And uh, yeah, so let's get going. So here's a button config utility. It doesn't really matter which one you use. This is just an example, but you can see uh, I have a ghetto. And that's how it kind of looks. So watch this. So I'm going to bind uh, player two up. So I hit this. We go to the pad. Hit that. And then it maps. Just like a regular controller. Um, again, if you're wondering who Kate Gray is, what Ghetto is, I'll link all that in the description below. You can actually build these boards yourself. Um, I can link all that as well. So everything below. I'm not going to waffle on about it. But now we've mapped the pad. That's pretty much it. So we can... Uh, Hook this up with Stepmania, DDR, ITG, uh, Outfox, pr pretty much anything. It's just going to work like a regular controller. That's that's the point of the card. It converts the arrows to a joystick, and then you can use them. Pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs>